Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Chanel video and this one is the second one in a row and I never do that but it's just because they've released quite a few new products and I really wanted to test them out and see how they go. So this video I wasn't sure if I was actually going to do because I didn't know if these products were gimmicks and they are two new products that they've just released and I did ask you in my last video if you did want to see it and I decided anyway I was going to go ahead and pick them up because I did see a video that Erin Nicole did and they looked pretty good. But I do have very oily skin so I don't know how they're actually going to work on my skin. So if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure you hit the bell icon just so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So today I'm going to be testing out two brand new products that have just released. The first one is the La Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch and this one is supposed to be a new version of their Water Fresh Tint which I love. I've used that so much and I use it when I have no makeup makeup days. And the other product that I'm going to test out is the Water Fresh blush now this one is the one that I thought was a gimmick because I looked at some swatches before it was released and uh, I don't know I just didn't feel like that you got much pigment in there there wasn't much color payoff and I did see a video on these blushes of the different shades and it looked like that the lightest ones weren't actually going to suit me so I got the one that I thought would probably have the most pigment but also wouldn't be too dark for my skin so anyway we're going to test out these products and if you want to see how they go then just keep watching so the first product that I'm going to test out is the La Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch now this one I got it in the shade B30 now they have changed the shade so you don't have light medium medium deep like you do in a water fresh tint this one actually has B BD and BR shades. Now the reason why I got B30, I know it's not going to be a perfect match, but the reason why I got it is because I am normally BD31, but they don't have that shade in this foundation, which is something that's pretty annoying for me because I'm always that shade. Also, this contains 20 milliliters or 0.7 fluid ounces, which is so much smaller than a usual foundation. The usual ones are 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. It's also the same with the Water Fresh tint as well. That one's 30 milliliters. And I honestly, I don't know how this is going to go on my skin. So it does come in this really nice box and then you also get a brush of it like you do with the original Water Fresh tint. I actually really like that brush. I use it when I use the Water Fresh tint or I use the sponge. This is the brush that you get. So it is very small. It looks very travel sized. It has a dome top, but it feels so nice and soft, like really, really nice. And then the foundation, you can tell it's small. It literally looks like a concealer, like a jumbo size concealer. It doesn't look like that it's a foundation. There does seem to be more of the pigment droplets in there as well. It looks, I know that this is going to be gross, but it looks to me like frogs born. There, there's a lot more in there and I feel like that is meant to have a lot more coverage. I believe it's meant to have medium coverage. As you can see there's a massive difference between the two of them and you can see that the droplets are so much bigger on the new version and then on the old version they're very very small and there's not as many. It just you can tell that it looks very different and then you can also obviously see the difference in the size. The new one is 20 milliliters and then the water fresh tint is 30 milliliters. So a massive difference between the two of them. I do like the fact that they both come with a pump as well. It's so much easier when you have a pump with a foundation. On the website it says that it's £51 which is very expensive. It's the same price as a water fresh tint. It does come in 16 different shades. These are all B, B, D and BR shades and they go from very pale to very very deep which I think is good because with a water fresh tint you've only got about six or seven shades I believe but because it is so sheer, it goes through loads of different skin tones, so you can usually find a shade that will match you. A first of its kind versatile face makeup formula infused with ultra concentrated micro droplet pigments, a refreshing lightweight texture and a formula that keeps skin hydrated and protected all throughout the day. Customizable application, you can do precision concealing or a perfect veil of coverage for an incredibly natural flawless finish. It has three times more pigment for fuller coverage and a flawless makeup look. A lightweight gel texture composed of approximately 60% water for an instant splash of freshness. Antioxidant rich ingredients including jasmine extract which protect the skin from pollutants and other environmental aggressors. A formula enriched with emollients such as tamarind extract known for its hydrating properties leaves skin plump and delivers a fresh complexion that covers well rested. And it looks like it's going to be pretty much exactly the same as the water fresh tint. 
but this one seems to have more coverage than that one because you can use it to be a concealer but then you can also use it for the entire face so I'm very intrigued I'm hoping that it's going to work now I'm not going to compare it to the water fresh tint today but I'm going to do another video and I'm going to do a wear test on it as well just so you can see how they go against each other and you can see what the coverage is like what the colors look like as well so we're going to go ahead we'll zoom in and we'll test out the new foundation and see how it goes I'm all zoomed in and I'm ready to test out the foundation. Now, as you can see, my skin isn't perfect. I do have a lot of redness. I have acne on my skin, I have blemishes. So this is really going to put it to the test and see what it covers and see what the coverage is going to be like because I prefer looking at things on people that don't have perfect skin mainly because I don't have perfect skin so you can see that there's a lot of discoloration you can also see that my neck is completely different shade to my face because like I mentioned I don't self tan my face because it is very sensitive so my skin is oily it's acne prone it's sensitive and obviously you can see that I have blemishes and also redness on the skin so we're really going to put it to a test and see if it actually works on my skin so I have already primed my skin. I've used my two favorite primers that I use with every single foundation I test out. So they're both from e.l.f. They're the e.l.f. Lemish Fighting Putty Primer and the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. As you can see, I use these a lot and I really need to get a new one of the Blemish Fighting one because I have noticed that it has really helped my skin, especially when I wear foundations because it just creates a nice little barrier and it has salicylic acid in it. So if you do have acne, I recommend trying that as well. Anyway, we're going to try out the foundation. Now, on the website, it does say that you need to use one pump of the Water Fresh Complexion Touch on the back of the hand. Tap the product using fingertips to melt the micro droplet pigment. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. We'll see what the colour looks like. Hopefully, it's not going to be that bad, but we'll do one pump. So that is one pump. Colour match looks pretty good. That There's actually a lot. There's a lot of pigment in there. And it's very runny as well. So let's dab it. This is so strange. Because I didn't do this with the water brush tint. So it's strange to actually see this. The only thing is, I do feel like if you do this, a lot of the product's going to get soaked up on the back of the hand. That's why I don't tend to do this and I tend to usually just pop it straight in the face. So we've pretty much popped all the pigments. And that's what it's looking like. And what I do with all of my foundations when I test them out, I usually just put them on one side so we can see what the coverage is compared to the other side. So we'll try it on this side and see what we have. That's actually, that's a lot of pigment. It's covering up pretty well. I do feel like this has more coverage than the original one, but I don't feel like you get a lot of coverage. I mean, it has evened out the redness on my skin. I can see that already and haven't even gone all the way over. Blended out nicely as well. It does feel thicker than the Waterfresh tint, but it doesn't feel heavy. It just feels like I'm putting pretty much nothing on my skin. pump and it doesn't look like you can do half the face with it I've managed to do my cheek and I've managed to do a bit of my chin and a little bit underneath my nose but I haven't managed to do my forehead at all but I do like the coverage I feel like the coverage is quite nice very nice for every day so we'll do another half pump So I managed to do half my face with one and a half pumps and I do really like how it looks on the skin. It doesn't look cakey. My redness is evened out. It hasn't covered up my blemishes, but I didn't think it would. But also with it saying that it can be like a concealer, I sort of thought it might cover up a little bit. It looks like my skin, but it just looks a bit more evened out. But I also feel like that the brush probably takes a very, very long time to do. I'm just gonna put another one and a half pumps on the back of my hand. So we can see if we get more coverage with the sponge or with the brush. I've just done this side with the sponge and this one's just an elf sponge. And I did one and a half pumps, but I still have product left on there. And I feel like I get slightly more coverage on this side as opposed to this side. As you can see, especially on my forehead, it looks like that on this side there's a lot more redness. But then on this side with the sponge, it looks like that it's blended out a lot nicer. 
I can see that there's a slight difference between the two sides. Now, I was a little bit worried about the shade. I thought that the shade would be very, very neutral and very pink for me, but it actually looks pretty good and it's a pretty good match for my neck as well so I'm quite happy with that so yeah I do definitely prefer using the sponge if I like that it blends out a lot nicer it doesn't soak up the product as well but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rest of what's on my hand I'm gonna see if I can build it up so especially on my cheeks here I have a lot of acne because with the water fresh tint you can't actually build it up because once it's on if you try and build it up and put more product on there it will look streaky it dries very very quickly i feel like i have a light medium coverage now you can still see my acne on my cheek but it looks so much better as opposed to this side because you can see that there's a lot more acne that you can see on this side then also on my forehead you can see a lot of redness but then on this side i feel like this side looks so good so i'm going to try and blend out the other side and add a little bit more product i've just managed to build it up a little bit i put an extra half a pump on i managed to do a little bit more on my forehead a little bit on my cheeks then i put another little pump it was probably about a quarter of a pump on the back of my hand and i managed to build up a little bit more on my cheeks i do definitely feel like that the sponge is the way to go but i really feel like it looks so good now you can obviously see a little bit of redness on my chin and then you can still see my acne but it looks so much better it looks more concealed i would say that now i have maybe a medium coverage at the moment but i like it i feel like it's looking really nice so like i said you can still see my acne but my redness is concealed a lot more i really like it i feel like that it looks so nice and with the sponge it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look horrible doesn't look patchy anyway i'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer and then come back and we'll try out the next product so foundation and concealer are all done and it looks really nice together i did look in natural light and naturally this is a little bit more pink than my neck but it's not too bad we can usually fix it with powder and bronzer and things like that so this is what it's looking like it looks really good and my concealer went on so easy as well just like usual and i feel like the the reason why it goes on so easily is because i don't have a mattifying concealer and i feel like if you were to put a mattifying product on top of this because it is so dewy and like a water fresh tint then i feel like that it can start to look a little bit cakey so i feel like that that's probably why it goes pretty well together so the next product we're going to test out is the lebeige eau de blush water fresh blush now the shade that i got is intense coral you get 50 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounces and this looks exactly the same as a water fresh tint but just smaller literally this is half the size of the water fresh tint but i do really like this packaging i don't know what it is i like it but I feel like that this is looking a bit gross now because it is so old and I've pretty much used it all the way up. So hopefully I get to keep this nice and clean. So this does come in six different shades. Like I mentioned, I did look at swatches on all the shades and the first two looked very, very pale. I think it was light pink and light coral maybe. They looked very, very pale. I'm naturally pale and I feel like that they would not show up when I have a self tan. So I didn't pick those. And then there was warm pink, which I was debating about, and then intense coral, and then I have two darker shades. So with the two darker shades, they were the only ones that you could actually swatch in store because I didn't have samples of the other ones. But because I did watch Erin Nicole's video, I felt like that this one would be the one that would match me and actually show up on my skin. Because for me, if I am wearing a blush, I like it to show up on my skin. I love blush, I love bronzer, and I love highlighter. So for me, if I had a blush that didn't really show up, then I feel like it wouldn't really do much for my look. I feel like, personally for me, I don't feel like I have the face to do no makeup makeup most of the time. So that is just why I don't do it. The pigment droplets in this is exactly the same as Water Fresh Tint as well. So they are a lot smaller, and there is a lot more water to them than the new version of the foundation. So... I'm really excited to test this out. Hopefully it's going to look nice on my skin. I really don't want it to not show up. I do want it to show up, but I don't want it to be too bold. I also don't want it to slip off my skin on my oily skin. So I'm a little bit worried about how it's going to go. But I was excited to try it out. So that's why I picked up one shade, just because I don't know how it's going to look on my skin. So it retails for £42. There are six shades that are available. And like I mentioned, this one is Intense Coral. And on the website, it says that this is a first water fresh blush. It's ultra lightweight moisturising formula composed of 75% water and infused with micro droplets of pigment. Provides an instant fresh feeling and non-stop comfort. It blends seamlessly with the skin for a sheer weightless finish and delivers a flush cheek look as if you spent the day in the grey outdoors. 
outdoors a long lasting natural healthy glow a subtly flush complexion all day long so it does say dispense a pea sized amount on the back of the hand and it says it doesn't really say anything else it just says to apply it i think what i'm going to do is do the same as what i did with this foundation i think i'm going to put it on the back of my hand and i'm going to sort of burst the pigments and then apply it to the face i am going to be using a sponge that's what i use all the time with these types so that's one pump that i've just put on the back of my hand so you can see it is very runny so i'm just going to tap this in with my finger this is very pretty now that i've popped the droplets it looks beautiful that is so pretty. Just going to take a little bit. Can't really see it because of the colour of the sponge. And then we'll tap it on. That's pretty. That is a really pretty colour. That is so nice. I like this colour because it's not too intense. It looks like I have flushed cheeks. And I still have a little bit of pigment left on there. So I'm just going to take this pigment, put it on here. That is really, really nice. It hasn't taken off any of the foundation. hasn't taken off any of the concealer on my nose either. Again, though, it is one of those where if you like a lot of pigment, if you like a shocking shade, if you like vibrant blush, this isn't for you. I'm shocked with this because I thought I would get no pigment. Or I thought that it would look very, very pale or that I wouldn't like it or that it would look too dewy and it would take off all my makeup. But this hasn't taken off any of my foundation, any of my concealer either on my nose. It just looks really, really nice. And I like the shade because it's not too vibrant, but it's not too pale either. Like it looks like I have blush on, but it also has a nice natural flush to it as well. I could easily use this with my sheer coverage foundations. I could easily use this if I just wear the water fresh tint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, finish off the rest of my makeup, then come back, gather my thoughts and let you know what I think about both these products after I've applied the rest of my makeup and I've looked to natural lighting. I've just finished off my makeup and this is what it looks like and now I feel like I have a very good idea on how I feel about both these products that I've tested out today and I can let you know if I recommend them or if I don't and everything about them. So the first thing is the foundation, so the water fresh complexion touch. So I really like the way that this looks on my skin. I feel like that it evened out my redness and my blemishes looked so much better as well. It looked like a no makeup makeup look but with a little bit extra coverage with the foundation and my acne didn't look as bad. It doesn't feel like I'm actually wearing anything on the skin which is amazing and it blended out very nicely and I feel like the colour match is pretty good for me and I do like the fact that there are quite a few different skincare ingredients in there as well and things that hydrate the skin and I just feel like there is a pretty good foundation now the things that i don't like about it i don't like the shades so with the shades they do have more than the water fresh tint but i do wish that they had all the bd shades or the br shades and all the b shades just because i can't get a perfect match with this for my skin so if i do want to wear it i probably will need to mix it with a mixing medium or one of those mixing pigments that they have the only problem with that is that that also adds extra coverage so it isn't going to look the same as what it does if you just apply it without having to mix it with anything so that's just annoying for me i don't like the fact that there isn't a shade that's perfect for me when i saw it advertised i did think that they were going to do every single shade because it is a new product so i thought it was going to be like the ultra latent where they have so many shades i can't remember how many shades there are but there are loads of different shades also the size the size of this is tiny this is 20 milliliters this is 10 milliliters less than what you usually would have a foundation it's a third less so basically you're getting two thirds of a normal foundation and that i don't like because it is the same price as the water fresh tint which you get more of it's also the same price or even more than most of their foundations that they do have from chanel so i don't like that i do like you know they is an innovative product it is a brand new product and i like the fact that it has extra pigment in there however i don't feel like it justifies the price now you do get the brush of it i do like the brush but i don't feel like i'll be using the brush with this just because i don't feel like it actually worked out the best for it i do prefer the sponge so if you do use this i definitely recommend doing the sponge or going and getting a brush that you usually have as well now it is good for travel but even if i travel i'm not going to be taking that brush with me just because 
I don't really feel like that it works very well with it. So there are some good things with this foundation, but there are also some negative things with it as well. Also, I will have to see how it goes on my skin during the day because like I mentioned, I am very, very oily. So that is something that I'm definitely going to put to the test. Now, the rest of my products glided on very, very easily like they do with every other foundation that I wear. So that's another good thing that it feels very nice on the skin and it works very well with all of my other products that I usually use. I haven't used really anything out of the ordinary today. I've changed my eyeshadow. I've used a slightly different highlighter that I tend to use on different occasions. But other than that, everything else is exactly the same. Now, you do get more pigment with this one compared to the Water Fresh tint. So if you do like like the coverage of the water fresh tint i don't feel like that you need this foundation or if you do like the water fresh tint but you do want a little bit more coverage then i feel like that this is a good thing for you to get however i do also feel that it's very 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 similar to the vital Lumiere aqua so if you do already have that foundation then you don't need to get this because i feel like they are very similar they feel very similar on the skin they apply pretty much exactly the same and the shades look exactly the same as well so if you do have that foundation i don't feel like that you need to spend the extra money on this one because this one's like £11 more than that one. So I don't feel like that you need to waste your money and get this one. Now, if you do want to try it out, then go ahead and try it. It's a good foundation. I like it. I feel like that so far, just with this first impression, it is a nice foundation and we'll be wearing it a lot as well. So it might be a new go-to, but it's going to go down very easily because I needed to have three pumps on my face, three or four pumps. And if I were to use this normally, I'd probably have to use three pumps anyway. So three pumps of a foundation when you have 20 milliliters, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go down very quickly. So that, again, for me, is something that doesn't justify the price point. I know that they've said on their website that you can use it as a concealer, but... I wouldn't use this as a concealer because for me, I don't have enough coverage with this. I'll just stick with my e.l.f. hydrating concealer that I use all the time. And now for the Le Beige Water Fresh Blush, I am shocked with this product because I genuinely thought I would not like it. I thought it was going to be a gimmick product and I didn't feel like there was any point in trying it out. But then I realised that you guys probably do want to try it. And... That's why I decided to get it and I'm actually really happy that I did because this is a shade that's going to work for people that are my skin tone. I feel like this is the perfect shade for me. It's not too dark, it's not too light. You can also add extra pigment if you want to put a little bit more of the product on and it does build up as well. I only had to use half a pump for this and I managed to do both my cheeks and also my nose. I did put a whole pump on my hand but I still had loads left over and then I managed to add extra pigment into the blush. So it is actually a really nice product. I like the fact that you can build it up as well. So you can have a very sheer wash, but then you can have a little bit more. Now, if you're one of those people that likes bold and bright blush, you are not gonna like this because it is pretty sheer. If you do like no makeup makeup looks, then it is very nice. If you do have very dry skin i feel like you will like this as well because it is very hydrating but also i did like the fact that it didn't take off any of my foundation it didn't take off any of my concealer and it just looks so beautiful it didn't highlight all of my acne that I have on my cheeks either the rest of my products glided on very easily with this i did put on some bronzer my chanel cream bronzer after this and it didn't take any of the blush away it didn't look cakey it didn't look anything like that it actually looked very very nice but i will have to see how it goes throughout the day because i do have oily skin i haven't set it with any extra blush just because i want to see how this goes so i really like this i love the pump i love the way that it looks and i'm so happy that i picked up this shade because it is so nice i do also like the fact that they have six shades but it's for different skin tones and they do have two very deep ones that i feel like will work on very deep skin i do feel like they could bring up some more in the middle and then also some deeper ones it is very expensive but you do get a lot of product considering what you're going to use this for and how much product that you actually need to use so i actually really like it and i say go ahead and try it out if you do want to i like it and it looks nice you can actually see it. it's not one of those where it's very very sheer it looks beautiful. So that's my first impression of the two new products from Chanel. If you've tried out these products and if you like them, if you don't, just comment down below to let me know. And if there's anything else that you want me to test out, just let me know as well. And make sure that you give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.